Recently, I took a video on my Snapchat story of this massive anthill in my backyard, and it's so big that after dumping a ton of insect killer on it, there are still a bunch of ants inside. It's sort of like a ritual now. Every day I go out there and record the progress of me trying to defeat the ants in this anthill, and they just won't give up, man. I I've done everything. I've like, it, I mean, it's been raining the past few days. It was raining. There's, you know, water all over their anthill. They're still in it. I took a stick. I moved it around the freaking anthill. They're still in it. I put insect killer all over it, like an unbelievable amount of insect killer. They are still in this ant hill. They cannot get out, right? So I just go out there pretty much every day for the last four days, record. Oh my God, look, there's more ants in this goddamn ant hill. Look at me trying to kill them. You know what I mean? Uh, my snap is It's Vivoli, by the way. Just a quick shameless plug. But one of these times while I was recording, I accidentally showed my neighbor's house across the street. And you could kind of make out the numbers on their home. And I'm very paranoid about privacy. Because, I mean... When something's out there on the internet, it's out there forever, and if I keep making videos, then I imagine my channel will keep growing, and there will be weirdos out there who try to find where I live and possibly try to murder me, you know? So, you can never be too safe, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, because I'm very careful, I deleted the video. I watched it before I uploaded it, made sure everything was good. Everything was not good. So, I deleted the video, uh, remade it, you know, as best I could, and uh, yeah, the address never got posted, thankfully. But if it did get posted, I would definitely regret not checking the video before uploading, which is the moral of this story. Because Elon Musk put out a tweet recently where he probably is regretting not checking his post before uploading. Of course, I'm talking about this tweet by Elon where he said, content creators may wish to enable subscriptions on this platform. Just tap monetization and settings where he didn't crop anything, which is so funny to me. Uh, he just took a screenshot of his entire phone and posted it. And if you're Squidward, you would look up here in the top right and you would say, Holy fish paste, what is that? Yes, yes, Elon Musk has an alt account. And the internet detectives have found it. At ERMN Musk. This is allegedly Elon's alt, and of course without confirmation from Elon himself, you know, it's not confirmed, but this account tweets just like Elon, like literally exactly like him. It sounds just like the way he tweets. This is more of a if you know, you know kind of thing. Like Elon always tweets really dry humor and is like kind of awkward, you know what I mean? And a bunch of like, he, he, he just tweets a bunch of like dry humor, dry memes, like... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it other than that, but Jesus Christ, man. If this is him, this account is so unbelievably cringe and weird. Only one person is following me. And then <laughs> 16 days later, now no one follows me. And then a couple days after that, hello, please follow me. I don't know why he's like so follow hungry. Your main account has 138 million followers. It's super weird. Now you may look at these tweets and be like, wow, that is kind of pathetic. But, you know, it's not like cringe or weird or anything. It is like slightly weird, but it's not like, you know, anything to make like a whole video about. Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Well, it does not end here because... Uh, this tweet from the serfs saying Elon Musk has allegedly revealed a secret alt account where he pretends to be a child version of himself posting a lot of bizarre sexual content. Now, I'm going to make a correction because he's not pretending to be a child version of himself. He is actually pretending to be his child. He put out this tweet on his alt that says, I will finally turn three on May 4th. And of course, he's talking about his son that he had with Grimes. The son was born on May 4th of 2020. And there's also this tweet, which I don't know. I, I don't know why he's doing this, man. It's just so funny to me. Uh, Brian Chesky, he said that it feels like we were in a nightclub and the lights just turned on. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like a song lyric or something. I have no idea what that means. But anyway, Elon replies and he says, what nightclub were you at? I wish I was old enough to go to nightclubs. They sound so fun. Like... This is so weird, man. I feel like I'm Lalo Salamanca when he was trying to find Warner Ziegler. Like, what is he doing, man? What is that guy up to? What's he up to, man? What's he doing? Like, some of these tweets are so strange. And if you watch, it, like, if you've seen Elon tweet, th this is exactly the type of shit he would say. You know what I mean? Like, this is so on brand. 
Uh, for example, uh, Michael Saylor, he's like a big Bitcoin guy. He tweeted Satoshi had the right idea. If you don't know, uh, Satoshi Nakamoto is the name of the guy who made Bitcoin. So Elon replies to this saying, do you like Japanese girls? I, I don't understand the connection here. Maybe it's because Satoshi is Japanese, but Satoshi is a man. So saying that this Japanese man had the right idea and Elon replies, do you like Japanese girls? It's really weird, man. Uh, it makes me wonder, did he ever think this was going to come out? I don't know. I, I would imagine no, but at the same time, how can you be so careless that you would screenshot your entire phone and upload it like the monetization setting that he was talking about in that tweet was all the way at the bottom he could have just cropped that very easily or maybe he was like trying to do like a subtle flex if you look at this tweet too this subtle flex i'm talking about right under his following count and his followers account is a subscribers number and that subscribers number is fucking absurdly high man people pay Elon Musk, man worth like $200 billion. It's probably higher than that, fuck, I don't know. But Elon Musk, man worth billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars. 25,000 people are paying him $5 a month for God. Who the hell knows what? Someone needs to do those things like what they do with OnlyFans. Someone needs to just post that shit. I need to see what this guy is tweeting behind scenes. Like, is it like some like crazy you know, memes, I can't imagine anything that anyone tweets being worth five bucks a month. You know what I mean? That is so crazy to me. I mean, Jesus, that's 120 grand a month that he's getting off of, of subscribers. It's just crazy to me that people do that. But anyway, uh, my whole point was that I don't know if he's like trying to do a subtle flex that like, you know, he's got 24,700 subscribers and you know, all these people are paying him five bucks a month and I, I don't know. But and he like accidentally revealed his all. I don't know how you could be so careless, but he was. And then yeah, there's also this tweet. Uh God, I feel like I have to do so much, so much background context in all these. This tweet, this original tweet by Mike is referring to FTX, which was a big crypto um I'm not sure really how to describe it. It was like Robinhood, you know, like a like a platform where you would buy and sell crypto. Yeah, I guess that's how I would describe it. FTX was a massive platform worth billions of dollars, man, which is crazy to me how a crypto platform can be worth like tens of billions of dollars. <sighs> anyway, the guy who made the platform was worth 16 billion himself. And uh, Mike said, bro had a net worth of 16 billion. Oh yeah, also FTX completely lost all of its money. They filed for bankruptcy, so it's they're worth nothing now. Um, but yeah, and yeah, me, Mike is saying, bro had a net worth of 16 billion USD and risked it all for this. The grippy must have been unfathomable, which I'm sure you all understand what that means. And then Elon replied saying, I love librarians. Again, I have no idea why. I have no idea what this means. I love librarians. I, I, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Like I said, I feel like Lalo Salamanca. So yeah, I, I have no idea what the hell is going on over there. And, and this is for a whole nother video. I don't know if I'll ever talk about this in depth, but I personally hold the belief that when you're at the status of Elon, you don't really do anything as the CEO of a company, right? Because when you're worth billions of dollars, you just hire everything out. You know what I mean? And it, it, there's you can't argue that. In my opinion, you can't argue that and say he does a lot. Because bro, he owns, I think he started an AI company. He owns X. I think that's the name of his new AI company. He owns owns Tesla, uh, SpaceX. I think he has, oh yeah, Twitter, obviously. Jesus Christ, I almost forgot about Twitter. Uh, I think he has an energy, like a solar energy company. I think it's Solar City. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but it, I, I, like, I might be wrong on the name is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, he owns a solar energy company. I don't know what it's called. Maybe it's like an addition of Tesla and then Neuralink, right? Which is the chips in the brain and then something else. Oh yeah. The boring company is another one. And then he owns that one where they put like satellites in space. 
my point is he owns a shit ton of companies. There is no way that every day he's doing like insane research, like bending, you know, the fabric of reality in every single one of these companies. It's just not possible. That's all I'm going to talk about that. You know, like I said, that's for another day. That's just my belief. I don't think a CEO, you know, at this level does like much for a company other than like attending business meetings. But this is just so strange to me. He clearly has a lot of time on his hands, man. Like he's role playing his toddler son and t replying to people's tweets with like these weird, like sexual connotation. It's so bizarre, man. It's so weird. And then he's like begging for followers on the tweets too. It is so strange. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's really all I have to talk about this. This is just such an odd scenario. Yeah. Uh, man, I don't know. Thanks for watching.